Uh, hello everyone, my name is Junia Sadaiki Hania and I am the president for 2024 of the Civil Engineering Students and Staff Association. The Civil Engineering Students and Staff Association is made up of the students of the Papua New University of Technology School of Civil Engineering as well as its staff members. On the 17th of August 2024, we had our association launching to association conference to officially launch the association after its successful registration with the Investment Promotion Authority for this year 2024. This milestone was celebrated with some of our invited guests who so were invited especially the members of the Aaron Sons Construction Limited, members of the, the Managing Director of Advanced Construction Limited, Mr. Geoff Luna, was we were privileged to have him on board as one of our guests. So basically the launch was to talk about the activities of the association, what we've been doing and what we would like to do. So it was culminated with the ribbon cutting ceremony to officially launch the association. So for this year 2024, we've undertaken several initiatives to <coughs> done by the student using our own resources to at least give something back to the community. So that included a donation drive, a major donation drive that was undertaken in collaboration with the Civil Engineering Students and Staff Association, the Mining Engineering Students and Staff Association, as well as the Oro Unitec Students and Staff Association. I'm not only there to have taken several programs for this year including the debate competition which to the idea is to help students to develop soft skills and confidence public speaking skills to at least help them become more well-rounded individuals learning some things that we don't learn inside the classroom so after giving a brief plan for what the association is about we have uh, several initiatives that we would like to uh, carry out this uh, planned library building project at the end of this year in Oro province, as well as a stationary donation drive planned for the end of this year. So, basically, it's to this type of initiative. It not only helps the community, but it instills in the students a sense of responsibility that we, as educated individuals, educated members of society, have a responsibility to give something back use our knowledge to at least contribute positively to the community. So apart from this, uh, we also have a plan in a town around the city of Leigh, which is our home, where our university is located in, as well as our hospital visit that we are trying to put together whatever resources we can to carry them out. And the other initiative planned for the end of this year is our final year ball night which will, as a token of our appreciation to our seniors who have contributed in these activities that we've mentioned so far for three odd years. So as a way of appreciating them, the association is planning on hosting a ball night to send them off on a high note. So as to how we support our activities, um, currently the association supports itself through uh, student memberships that is uh, a that rate of uh, 2300 students which we collect from each year levels to support our activities. Going forward, uh, we're planning on introducing a special membership for professionals in the industry who would like to support some of these community projects, these community initiatives that we're trying to do. So that, uh, that includes a, a 200 kina registration for a professional member, professional members. So if you're an alumni of this institution in the School of Civil Engineering or you're an individual who would want to support this mentioned initiative that we mentioned, then you can register to become a member to help us provide the resources necessary to implement these programs. And for another type of membership that we're trying to introduce is the corporate membership that includes a fee of 100 uh, 1,000 jina per company per year and that has the benefit of being included on our new merchandise line which we are going to go 
this merchandise mm -hmm. line will uh, feature some of the engineering students that are facing the skill of civil engineering as well as the embellishment of the logo any company who come on as a corporate sponsor so this will serve to at least associate the brands of this company with an organization that is student oriented is also giving back to the community and is undertaking initiatives that help develop the community using the knowledge of the students so uh, the details will be provided the details will be provided on how best you can support us so so far we have received uh, encouraging responses from especially by our guest yesterday so the first uh, person to accompany rather to come on board is uh, Aran Sons Construction Limited so uh, gratitude goes to the company the managing director Mr. Thomas Pissini for his support towards us when we reached out to him uh, Aran Sons Construction Limited committed 2000 kina towards SESA and on behalf of the executives and all the students and the staff under the association our utmost gratitude goes to Mr. Thomas Pissini and team also coming on board to support us was uh, Mr. Jeff Luna the managing director of Advanced Construction Limited he came on board with 3000 kina to support the work of the association also, we had a financial commitment made by the works manager for Morobet, the Department of Works and Highways, provincial works manager for Morobet province. The Samsung of ID has committed funding that will be displayed in the course to support us in our work. So, apart from that, uh, we had um, support from commitment made by other companies, namely UOC Construction Limited. He has basically committed to support us with the 500 kina. We also had a commitment of funding to be a corporate sponsor by the managing director of Kalenai Construction Limited. And we also had a commitment made by the managing director for DJ Construction Limited, Mr. Melky Ohio, Melky Zerek Ohio. So all of these companies that have come on board has seen the vision of SASA, what we would like to achieve in terms of giving back to the community and they have made commitments and some have already done so. So we, the association thanks the is mentioned, uh, corporate and individual sponsors who have reached out to support the work of SESA. So this milestone yesterday uh, basically symbolizes our uh, commitment to be compliant with the uh, local regulations, especially in terms of associations. So that's the first step, and that will lead to uh, our uh, IRC team applications as well as our bank account opening to ensure that all future sponsorships, etc., are compliant with local regulations. So, with that, uh, back to our merchandise line. The first order will be sent out of the hundred pieces of the hoodie, hoodies that we ordered will be at the end of August for the first week of September. So after our month intensive, hopefully we have it in country by the mid-October or the end of October. And that will coincide with another launch again for the merchandise line. So this will be used to sold that will be sold to bring in revenue, income for the association to help sustain our programs going forward. So that's basically a brief of the event that happened yesterday as well as a brief on what society is and what society is about.